Hey friends, welcome back to a new video and today in this video we are going to talk about a hematological condition known as polycythemia vera. We will also be discussing about the causes of this disease and also about signs and symptoms that can be seen during the appearance of this uh, disease. So let's get into the video. So first of all, let's discuss about what is polycythemia vera. So it is actually a type of blood cancer and it causes your bone marrow to make too many red blood cells. So as we all know, the function of bone marrow is to produce uh, blood cells, for example, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. But in this condition will produce enormous amount of red blood cells and we will see the problems that can cause due to this increased level of red blood cells so these excess cells that thicken your blood and slow its flow which may cause serious problems such as blood clots so when there will be like as seen in this picture when there will be like enormous amount of red blood cells in the blood it again goes to a uh, small uh, blood vessels that is present in the brain and in the heart and, and many other organs and it can block the blood flow, uh, the blockage of uh, blood supply to the uh, small capillaries in the brain. It can lead to some stroke, aneurysm and many other pathological conditions. Polycythemia vera is very rare condition. It usually develops very slowly and might have it for years without uh, any symptoms. So it's mostly seen in uh, older peoples for around like uh, 60 or above but in it can be even present in like adults like 30 years 40 but it does not show any symptoms because uh, our body tries to compensate these erythrocytes by destroying them often this condition is found during a blood test or for another reason now let's talk about the causes of polycythemia vera Polycythemia vera it occurs when a mutation in a gene that causes a problem with blood cell production. So as we all see in this picture, uh, the JAK2 gene mutation in the DNA that is the reason for this polycythemia vera. So as we all know, genetic mutation is one of the main reason for many type of blood, blood cancers. For example, it can be leukemia or uh, some thrombocytopenia or many other diseases it is caused due to mutations normally our body regulates the number of each three type of blood cells we have for example red blood cells white blood cells and platelets so how they will re regulate is that the by destroying and producing at the same rate so as much as our bone marrow produces the blood cells our other organs they will destroy the excess blood cells but in this con condition what happens is that they will produce in enormous amount of blood cells that destruction will not happen on time so but in polycythemia the bone marrow produce too many of these blood cells the cause of genetic mutation in polycythemia vera is still unknown but it is generally not inherited from the parents so it is not a genetical type of mutation but it can be due to some other external factors for example radiation or due to some kind of drugs or drugs you took in the past it can be due to smoking or many other factors but it is still unknown the exact cause of this mutation now let's move on to the symptoms that is seen during polycythemia vera so there will be a lot of symptoms that is like non-specific for example like headache or loss of weight loss of appetite or uh, some kind of uh, fever headache uh, fatigue so these are like uh, non-specific and it can be seen in many other diseases and many other cancers so we are not going to mention them here but more of a specific type of symptoms for example it is first one it is itching 
we will feel even after a warm bath or a shower always our body will be having some kind of itching so the next one it can be numbness tingling burning or weakness in your hands arms or legs so it is mainly caused due to like blockage of different kind of small small capillaries in the in, in our body due to increased erythrocytes a feeling of fullness soon after eating or bloating or pain in your left and upper abdomen due to an enlarged spleen so as we see in this picture our spleen is located near to our stomach so when there will be enlargement of spleen during this condition there will be a decrease of appetite and the person will eat very less but he feel like his stomach is full the the reason for enlarged size of our spleen it is because so there will be like increased production of erythrocyte right so when this erythrocytes it goes to the spleen it it uh, it works even more harder than the usual so usually they had to destroy a little bit of erythrocyte but now they had to destroy a large number of erythrocyte to regulate the level of erythrocytes in the blood and most of the time it fails due to heavy load of erythrocytes which can leads to enlargement of the spleen and also liver can be also uh, increase in size we will also see unlu- unusual bleeding such as nose bleed or bleeding gums as we see in this picture then there will be also painful swelling of one joint often the big toe it is known as uh, gout so it is like inflammation of the joints due to accumulation of these erythrocytes and the other cells into the joints so shortness of breath and difficulty in breathing while lying down due to a uh, decreased oxygen uh, transmission in the lungs many people with polycythemia where don't have noticeable signs or symptoms some people might develop vague symptoms such as headache dizziness fatigue and blurred vision we will also observe like increased skin temperature and burning sensation and redness in the skin the, this redness it is due to increased level of erythrocytes and hemoglobin uh, into in the skin under the uh, skin that there is dermis in this dermis there are lot of blood vessels so there will be erythrocyte load over there and it uh, can cause like redness and our hands and our palms and bo- whole body it looks very very red this is how our skin look like during uh, this polycythemia vera there can be also seen edema in some some people and some people it won't, it won't be present but uh, this redness of the skin it is also a typical sign of this polycythemia vera or some other as uh, dermatological conditions the cause of bleeding is that the the body produces excess amount of red blood cells which will decrease the uh, rate or speed of the blood flow which can cause like thickening of the blood in different parts of the body which will increase the pressure of the vessels and which can lead to bleeding even also there can be reasons of clotting and also formation of bruises so these are all seen due to excess erythrocyte that is stuck in the blood vessels thank you for watching this video i hope you guys got some idea about what is polycythemia vera their signs and symptoms and the causes of it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and before you leave uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will get notified So we will see you in the next video until then take care stay tuned and stay healthy goodbye